Hello my dear this is Jal Kumar Sen and uh, in this video tutorial I am going to share with you about simple interest and compound interest all right so basically this video is dedicated to gate but if you are even preparing for other examination SSCJ or another uh, you know other competition examination then even the concept I am going to share with you will be same okay so basically what is simple interest and what is compound interest you may be a wonder to know that simple interest and compound interest both are using you know in industries or in bank the use of these two is you know maximum you can say at least in banking okay so uh, basically if you are preparing for gate then you required basic approach to solve problems in general in gate you are not going to get you know uh, question from simple interest compound interest that much rarely we have seen question they have asked from this topic all right so as i have been sharing videos related to gate aptitude that's why i'm covering this topic too uh, because uh, in gate maybe they can ask question okay so first of all let's get started with simple interest in short it is known as SI okay so if you'll go for the formula for simple interest P R T Y hundred what is P basically principal amount I will make you understand each and everything don't worry R is rate of interest and T is time period okay so now suppose that uh, you are depositing 100 rupees in a bank bank said to you that they will give you 5% interest per year but simple interest not compound okay but in general we get interest in bank compound interest okay so I'm just sharing with example of how to solve problems related to simple interest right now they said you said that I will deposit this hundred rupees money for two years so simple total interest if I will find out then P is hundred R is five and T is two by hundred so this is cancel so you will get ten rupees as simple interest for this your principal amount so total amount would be after five years how much it's uh, sorry after two years how much 110 rupees so this is the way to find out simple interest but in case of compound interest it is little bit different let me share with you how it will be different than simple interest okay yeah so here I'm talking about compound interest so as I share with you that uh, compound interest is a little bit different than simple interest because here is the example 100 rupees you are depositing in a bank for 10% interest right so after one year definitely you will have how much interest 110 total money interest would be 10 rupees then what will happen in case of compound interest they will pay you 10% of total of your amount that means amount this one plus interest one total amount on the total amount that means you will get interest on the interest that is known as compound interest in short it is known as CI in short it is known as CI okay so compound interest is much better than simple interest if you are depositing money because you will get interest of your interest that means you will you will get uh, interest of this 10 rupees also you will get interest on this for next year but you will also get on this on this also this 10 rupees that means this this one 10 percent is 11 rupees so total money would be after two years 121 rupees if you will go through simple interest then after two years your total money would be 120 rupees only so because of compound interest you are getting this one rupee extra 
and this is only happening in only happening in two years now think about after 10 years after 12 years the, this will be much more right so this is the real example i mean how you can differentiate simple interest and compound interest right and uh, yeah how to find out compound interest if you are talking about finding out compound interest then this is the formula p 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power t minus p okay this is the way to find out this is the formula to find out compound interest of any amount you can say if it is compounded annually that means you are getting interest annually okay this is about it now think about it if uh, in the question they said that uh, first year you are having 5% interest second year you will get 10% interest if it is changing for two years we can find out that its interest like this I mean total amount see 100 rupees I am depositing okay and for first year I am getting this much for second year I am getting this much uh, percentage so total amount after two years what will happen 100 rupees 1 plus 5 by 100 plus 1 plus sorry it's multiple 1 plus 10 by 100 so 100 rupees 100 105 110 by 100 so 100 it's 1.05 multiple 1.10 it's multiple this 100 rupees multiple 1.05 multiple 1.10 so we are getting interest of 115.5 rupees so minus 100 15.5 rupees interest you are getting only in two years if you have 5% interest in the first year and uh, yeah you and the second uh, second year you're getting only 10% interest then your total amount would be 15.5 rupees okay if you have gone through simple interest then for first first year you get 5 rupees only for second year only you will get 10 rupees so total your interest would be 15 rupees if you have calculated this by using simple interest but because we are using compound interest that's why we are getting 0.5 rupees extra of that means we are getting this interest from this 5% only I mean you will get interest on interest that is that is known as compound interest right so these three formulas these three formulas i mean two formulas for compound interest this one and this one and the formula i have shared with you prty 100 for uh, simple interest these three formulas can help you to understand simple interest and compound interest and uh, i have seen i have gone through question more than 15 uh, and yes after solving those question i came to know these three formulas are really important to remember and by using the, these formulas it is also important to solve problems related to this formula I mean once you will start solving problem then you will you can think that type right that way how to solve the problem and of course you will have approach to solve the problem right yeah as I have already shared with you this topic is not that much important I mean this topic is not that much important but yes if you are talking about important topics in gate I mean gate upcoming examination if I have I did analysis on the previous year paper what exactly I am talking about it's because of previous year right I cannot tell this topic will come from they will ask question from this topic or not but yes according to pre according to previous year analysis most important topics are probability most of the time we have seen question that they have asked question from this topic okay time and work time and work yeah I have already shared with you uh, gate aptitude related videos just like this one uh, on this topic only with previous year papers and I have also shared with you how to solve question I have solved in the video uh, previous year paper that's why you will come to know how to solve it and you will have approach to solve question right yeah time work time speed and distance and basic question I must say basic questions just like general questions okay 
so general questions they usually ask only one out of five okay five or six out of five they will only they will ask you one more question general question so this is all about you know simple in test and compound test and important topics for gate aptitude i hope you got some you have learned something new from this video tutorial thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye